Good evening. I like a rowdy crowd. That's good. Good evening. My name is Larry Green, and I am the principal of Jefferson High School. And I present to you our senior class of 2018. started tonight, I would like to take a moment and welcome our very special guests from the Board of Education, President Roger DeWitt. <laughs> Vice President Terry Pappas. <laughs> Director John Hafley. <laughs> Director Michael Matthews. I would also welcome, like to welcome from the district office, Assistant Superintendent, my FA, Dr. Rhonda Hanover. <laughs> Director of Safety and Security, Mr. John Gates. He's out in the crowd, keeping us safe somewhere. <laughs> Director of Communications, Teresa Myers. And last, but not certainly least, our amazing superintendent, Dr. Deirdre Pilch. I would like to thank you them personally for the continued support of Jefferson High School and the relentless efforts in leading our district in the right direction. Thank you one, one more time. Give them a round of applause. I think they look pretty good in black and gold up there, right? <laughs> Graduates, this night marks a very special moment in my life as I'm looking at, at the students that I've grown to know, care about, and most importantly, respect. It's been a great honor to serve as your half A this year. I am fortunate tonight will be tonight to be with you and take the opportunity to reflect on your past and look to your futures. I'm sincerely proud of you and I appreciate the opportunity that I've had to celebrate milestones with you in your life. The rite of passage represents a culmination of several years of hard work and sacrifice. It may have seemed like a very short time at Jefferson High School, however, you leave here tonight as quite a different person having experienced many obstacles and hardships. Some of you are raising families while others are living independently, working while still attending Jefferson High School. What perseverance and dedication you have shown me, your teachers, your parents, and most importantly to me, you've shown the underclassmen what it means to be a Jefferson High School student. Remember your strength as you will enter the world to pursue, pursue college, go into the military, or work that full-time job that you already, you've already been offered. You may have completed something that you strive for, something many of you thought you would never attain. Congratulations to you, one more time, the class of 2018. <laughs> At this time, I am honored to welcome tonight's Mr. Matthew Weber, as our, he will be delivering our commencement speech. Thank you, Matthew. They didn't tell me there'd be so many people here tonight. Wow. Um, guys, I will just tell you, I am honored to be here. Uh, I just want to say welcome to the graduating class of 2018. All the friends, family, and the educators that are here to celebrate this monumental accomplishment. 
Chris Ledoux is a hero of mine, and he once said this, sit tall in the saddle, hold your head up high, keep your eyes fixed where the trail meets the sky, and live like you ain't afraid to die. Don't be scared, just enjoy the ride. If we can live by this quote, we will have no regrets. Life, we all get one try, and we only get one try. It's a curse, and it's a blessing. The future's bright. You have your whole life ahead of you. You can do anything. Oh, the places you'll go. Two roads diverged in a wood, and I took the one less traveled, and that has made all the difference. These are just... Uh, a few of the cliches that were quoted to me when I graduated a few years ago, 22 years ago. I don't remember the speech at my graduation. I don't remember what life lesson was given to me. To be honest with you, I don't even remember the name of the speaker that spoke at my graduation. Most likely, what you hear today, you probably won't remember. But for the rest of your life, I can only hope that the lessons you have learned at Jefferson High School will prove helpful for the entirety of your life. However, the whole idea of this commencement speech is that I am supposed to offer you some thoughts of how you might live a good life out there in this so-called real world. Which, by the way, I assure you is no more or less real than what you've lived so far. Reality, well, like I said, you've lived it. I do not need to stand here and tell you how to live life. Many of you have had significant struggles with drugs, attendance, authority figures, parents, or the lack thereof, or all of these. And you have written this day off as something that would never happen. Through all that, you, class of 2018, overcame, and here you are. Some of you fell so far behind academically that the summit of high, the high school mountain this graduation seemed impossible, but once again, here you are. Some had children at a very young age, and you've managed to balance the duties of being a parent with the schedule of high school. And like I said, here you are. You did it. Whatever your struggles, you now sit here as a high school graduate. The accomplishment is a significant step in the progress of life. This is a ginormous accomplishment. Be proud. You all came to Jefferson looking for a second chance, a hand up, maybe a light at the end of the tunnel. What you found at Jefferson were smaller class sizes, stronger bonds, people who believed you could, a family. The Hefe, the real Hefe. <laughs> Grandma Shelley, Mama Beth, Bob the second, Richard, we're not gonna say his nickname. <laughs> Grandpa Dan, ding dang. And of course, some of you found Dad. Today our family gets to step back and we admire you, class of 2018, because we got to be a small part of helping you. Once again, congratulations. Yeah. The last story I'd like to share with you is about a man that has impacted me so significantly that I just want to share his story with you. His life started with nine siblings, a mother that worked at the local school and a father that worked at the feed mill in town. His brothers and sisters would borrow chickens from the neighbors when they came through the fence. His coaches would get him shoes because come December, his one pair of shoes for the year, usually his feet might be sticking out of them. He was talented, he was dedicated, he worked hard for all that he did. You know, he was blessed, but the world would say he was poor. His name is Robert. Robert didn't graduate from college. He barely graduated from high school. He's not a doctor, he's not a lawyer, producer, banker, or any other of those hoped for professions. Robert is a simple truck driver. He has a great job with a construction company. He wakes up every morning with the belief that he needs to go to work and he needs to work hard. But by many standards, Robert is now successful. He lives in a beautiful home. He's able to give money, items, time to the things that he desires to support. And Robert, by my son measures now, be called wealthy. 
But you would never know it. The man I speak of is my hero. He's my father-in-law. He's a grandfather to my children, a father to my wife, and by all counts, a great dad to me. His hair is dark, like much of you. His eyes are brown. He speaks Spanish very well. And his heart is solid gold. According to society standards, others' expectations, and the rules of life, Robert was not supposed to succeed. He had every excuse to fail. He had every scapegoat right there at his reach. But he chose to live for more, strive for more, and expect more. And I hope and pray that you also can find that motivation. What would I have wanted to know at my graduation? It's pretty simple, the benefits of failure. What I feared most for my, myself at your age was not poverty, it was failure. When I look back on my life, 40 years, I see many shining examples of failure. Numerous times where I made the wrong choice, stepped off the cliff and fell flat on my face. The world would be happy, the world would be happy to tell you what is success and what is failure. What constitutes failure? You are the only one to decide that. Failure allows us to self-assess where we are and what we need to do to get to where we want to be. Failure allows you to realize that you have work to do. Your perceived failure can be used as a catalyst for, for, for profound reinvention. In closing, I leave you with this advice. Set very, very high goals for yourself. Dream big, guys. Work hard each and every day. Make peace with your past so it doesn't disturb your future. What other people think of you is flat out none of their business. Time heals. Time heals almost anything, so give it time. No one is in charge of your happiness except you. And don't compare your life to others and don't judge them. You have no idea what their journey entails. And last but not least, never, ever, ever give up. Congratulations, class of 2018. Mr. Weber, and that was awesome. At this time, it is now my pleasure to introduce our first student speaker, Ms. Gerilyn Mercado. Gerilyn, come on up here. <laughs> Gerilyn has been a student at Jefferson High School for three years and is truly and has been truly grateful to me to personally watch the maturation process of Gerilyn and witness the young teenager grow into a young mom. Will you please help me welcome Ms. Gerilyn Mercado. Good evening graduates, friends, and family. Welcome to the graduation ceremony for the class of 2018. To the graduates who are all sitting behind me, we have come a long way. We had many bumps along the road, and it was a long four years. But I'm proud to say we finally did it. It's time to start new chapters in our lives and enjoy adulthood. I remember as a kid, I would always say, I want to grow up already. I want a job to get whatever I want. Well, I sure didn't expect this. <laughs> However, there is a lot to look forward to whether you're starting college, working full time, or even just raising a family. It all will be an amazing experience, and I wish the best of luck to all the graduates this year. This past year, I became a mother to a beautiful baby girl who is seven months now. Becoming a parent was an experience I will never, ever forget. There were sleepless nights, and so many times where I just broke down, but I knew what I had to do for my daughter, I want her to be able to follow in my footsteps and finish high school, go to college, and be successful. I'm doing everything for her now. I'm going to make sure my family will have everything they need and more. Without the help from my mom, dad, grandma, and grandpa, I wouldn't be where I am today, and I thank them for everything. The emotional conversations and teaching me to learn from my mistakes 
made me realize what I needed to do to achieve my goals and grow up a lot. The staff also helped me in so many ways and really did care about my education. All they want was to see us succeed and become something in the future. If we are having a bad day, they'll pick us right back up. If we need someone to talk to, they'll do whatever they can to make time for us. It's a school full of people I will never forget. Now, Jefferson High School. This school isn't just a school to me. It's more like a second home. I was able to walk in every day and feel so comfortable, so welcomed. I love this feeling and I'll miss it. I know that we all think we're immortal. We're supposed to feel that way. We're graduating. The future is and should be bright. But like our brief four years in high school, what makes life valuable is that it doesn't last forever. There is a universal truth we all have to face. Whether we want to or not, everything eventually ends. As much as I've looked forward to this day, I've always disliked endings. The last day of summer, the final chapter of a great book, parting ways with a close friend, but close the book, say goodbye. Today is one of those days for us. Today, we say goodbye to everything that was familiar, everything that was comfortable. We're moving on. But just because we're leaving, and that hurts, there are some people who are much a part of us. They'll be with us no matter what. They are, they are our solid ground, and the small, clear voices in our hearts that will be with us. One last thing to always remember, once a Jaguar, always a Jaguar. Congratulations to the class of 2018. I wish all of you nothing but the best. Thank you, Geraldine. Awesome as usual. Our next student speaker has more public speaking appearances than the president, Mr. Braxton Shepard. Come on up, Braxton. Braxton has served in our construction management program uh, for the past two years. He's played a major role in building of five habitat homes. Please welcome Mr. Braxton Shepard. As things come to an ending, we just have to come to amends with it and move on to what present is presented in front of us. This here is an ending that we've look been looking forward to for 13 years. Today, we are all here to celebrate our accomplishment, which many of us struggled greatly to reach. But today is bittersweet. As of right now, we are saying goodbye to everything that was familiar, everything that we were comfortable with. The friends we saw daily, the morning greetings from Sean, <laughs> It's a scary thing to process. We are moving on from everything that we know. But think back to five, maybe 10 years ago. Think of all the challenges that you have overcome, all the obstacles that have gotten your way, all the times that you had no idea what to do, um, things you ran into, people, money problems, stress, and self-doubt. But we all made it here to this day. We have all overcome so much to be here. and we are proud to be here. I want to thank my family, my friends, and my teachers for pushing me and never letting me give up. As we reach the end of high school, the greatest event so far in our lives, it's time for us to move on, to join the status of adulthood, the status we were so excited for until last week and that we realized that it, it is here and we are scared. So I'd like to wish you all what I want to wish for myself, the best of luck and success in adult life. Thank you. Okay, our next uh, award, or our first award of the night tonight will be our Dream Team Scholarship. Presenting the award will be 
excuse me, I'm ahead of myself here. We're going to be doing our rot Rotary Scholarships first. Presenting our award will be Mona Mercada. She likes to be known as the Hefe, but she's really not. So Mona, come on down, please. Jefferson High School, and I have the honor of presenting the 2018 Rotary Scholarship Award winners. Each of tonight's recipients had to fill out a scholarship application, write a personal statement, and interview with Rotary members to earn this award. I am proud to say that six Jefferson students interviewed and received a $500 scholarship, which is a testament to their hard work and alignment with the Rotary values. So without further ado, here are the 2018 Rotary Scholarship recipients. Armando Serna. Braxton Shepherd. tonight to honor two of our students. These two students have worked hard over the high, their high school careers and are excited to move on to their college education. This year we had over 40 students apply to the Dream Team Honors Scholarship and it was a lengthy process with applications, references, and an interview. Overall, 18 students were awarded over $22,000 in scholarships. Two of our recipients were Jefferson High School students. They both received scholarships in the amount of $1,200. It is with great pleasure that we invite Robert Alaniz and Gerilyn Mercado to the podium. directors and staff, congratulations. We know you will go on to accomplish great things in life. We are very proud of you. Thank 
Thank you, Steve. It is now my pleasure to introduce Sean Malander to announce the Jefferson High Spirit Award winners. Jefferson High Spirit Award is given to one female and one male graduate and is voted on by the teachers. All of our teachers reflected on this past year's accomplishments made by our graduates. At Jefferson, it's not all about academics. It's about our discovery program and its six Ps. The six Ps are prompt, prepared, produce, positive mental attitude, polite, and participate. However, for this award, we've added a seventh, perseverance. These students have persevered through hardships, in some cases, family tragedies, homelessness, and their negative pasts. Looking at the graduates on this stage, it is obvious they made the choice to persevere, rise above, and graduate. Let me reiterate, it was not an easy decision for us to choose only one female and one male, for we know their stories and each year it seems to get harder and harder. This year's award winners immediately stepped up and helped teachers and students alike. Both are respected by their peers and exhibited Discovery's six Ps. Again, prompt, polite, positive attitude, prepare, participate, produce, and of course the seventh, perseverance. Please join me in congratulating Alizé Leba and Braxton Shepard as they receive their awards. this time, I, I guess I should say it's my privilege, but I'll just say I'm here to introduce Scott Brown. I'm sure he'll come up here and say I'll piggyback or something of those sorts. He's going to come up here and present the diplomas for us. Let's give a hand for Scott Brown, please. Good evening, and thank you for join us, joining us tonight for this wonderful celebration. Along with my colleague, Ms. Emery Earhart, it is our pleasure to announce the names for the 2018 Jefferson High School Diploma recipients. So without further delay, the class of 2018. Esmeralda Marie Abreu. Alexander, I'm sorry, I'm out of order already. Robert Andrew Alanis Jr. Alexander Alarcon. Matthew David Michael Alvarado. Mario Eduardo Aparicio Salgado. Leanna Mary Ariano.
Israel Artiega Ramirez. Ashley Avila Castillo. Trevor Harley Bain. Naomi Guadalupe Balderrama. Leslie Alejandra Cano. Ezekiel Zachariah Carpio. Jeremiah Anthony Carrasco. Nathaniel Carrillo. Adolfo Carrillo Barajas. Armando Serna. Louis Josiah Chavez. <laughs> Yamila Cisnero Ledisma. <laughs> Alicia Clarita Cisneros Ruiz. Christina Kiera Conscious. Mallory J. Conrad. Erin Contreras. Vanessa Davila. Andrew James De Herrera. Samuel Jose De Herrera. Elizabeth Beatrice De La Cruz. Anika Cerise de Leon. <laughs> Kiana Monique Diaz. <laughs> Trendy Dominguez. Aneth Jocelyn Dominguez Soto. Austin Jean Downey.
Nathaniel Noah Duran. Skyler Andrew Edwards. Israel Escobar Serna. Jeremiah Isaac Escobedo. Leticia LaShawn Historga. Nathan Eric Finner. Alma Brenda Garcia. Aurora Karina Garcia. Donovan Miguel Garcia. Nicholas Anthony Garcia. Alexandra Maria Garza. Natasha Marie Garza. Jacqueline Arlette Gil Leo. Sydney Marie Glover. Marcos Gomez Jr. <laughs> Valerie Gomez. <laughs> Isidro Gomez Vasquez. Zaira Guadalupe Gomez Vasquez. <laughs> Moraima Guadarrama Esposa. <laughs> Isai Gutierrez. Richard Joseph Gutierrez III. Juan Carlos Hernandez. Oscar Junior Hernandez. Yvette Hernandez Martinez. Oh 
Morgan Don Arella. Kimberly Karime Holguin. Hunter Allen Horsley. Tristan Jarrett Horsley. Miles Eric Janky. Abdi Ibrahim Jama. Liliana Juarez Roman. Samantha King. <laughs> Zipporah Elaine Koenig. <laughs> Alize Neshe Leba. Ashley May Lippard. Marco Antonio Loma Aparicio. Adrian Edgar Lopez. Jerry Lopez. Joseph Andrew Lopez. Jorge Armando Lopez Conscious. Jose Antonio Lopez Gutierrez. Samuel Jacob Lujan. Talia Angel Luna. Cecilia Elizabeth Luna Batista. <laughs> Ephraim Macias Mesa Jr. <laughs> Angel Misiel Camacho. Michael Anthony Xavier Magallanes. <laughs> Luis Antonio Manuel.
Janelle Martinez. George Luis Martinez, Jr. Nico Anthony Martinez. Andrea Renee Mascarenas. <laughs> Destiny Monet Nicola. <laughs> Joseph Thomas Medina. Sergio Brandon Medrano. Jacqueline Vanessa Melendez. Ricardo Jesus Mendez Rodriguez.
Jesse Kenneth Russell.
What a great honor it is to stand before you all, the class of 2018. <laughs> to share with you the heartfelt feelings and greetings from the School District Board of Education. We're excited to join you, your family and friends, and the faculty and staff of Jefferson in recognizing your accomplishments. It's my pleasure as a member of the Greeley Evans School District Board of Education to certify that each of you has met all the graduation requirements of Jefferson High School as recommended and certified by the faculty and staff at Jefferson. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Education, you are now, are now authorized to receive an individual diploma. Congratulations. <laughs> graduates, graduates, you may now move your tassel to the left. Thank you. 